Today I'm gonna to show you some really easy tips on styling your console table. Now I like in styling a console table to a set of shelves. A blank open space can feel really daunting to start with, but with a few easy tips and knowing how to start with a blank canvas, you're gonna be set on your way to styling your console table to perfection, whether that's in your bedroom like mine is, a hallway or a living space, so ready? Let's go. So before I get started, I just wanted to quickly show you my console table. Now this was a beautiful Facebook marketplace find. It was white, it was completely battered, and I picked it up for £10. Can you believe it? Um, so we literally just sanded it back, painted it black, added some beautiful uh, brass cup handles, and now it's a farmhouse modern beauty. So let's get to it. A key to styling any console table or shelves for that matter is starting with your largest item. This is gonna set an anchor point and it's gonna be much easier to build on rather than adding loads of tiny objects. So for me, it's this concrete lamp, which was another Facebook Marketplace upcycle. And I'm gonna place that just at the end of my console table. I absolutely love it. And the concrete base um, was literally made um, by putting cement onto it. And we've added a lampshade um, from Dunelm, which was like six pounds. And um, so this is now creating an anchor point on my console table and I'm ready to style the rest of the space. So the next bit that I always move on to is coffee table books. Now the split opinion about, um, you know, should they be just for reading? Should they be for decorative? But I personally think they provide a really good base on a large space like a console table. Um, they look beautiful and they're actually good books if you wanna read them as well. Um, so. You've probably seen this one everywhere. This is the Soho House book. And we've also got the Live Beautiful, which I absolutely love. Um, so I'm just gonna place these two um, in the middle section of the console table, just like this. Now, as you can see so far, like the look is completely so simplistic and they're already starting to build a nice base to work from. My style would be described as very transitional. I love mixing old pieces and new. So for me, I wanted to bring an antique piece um, into this and I personally love bringing vases. Um, I think with vases as well, it just gives you um, an opportunity to bring some natural elements in or some foliage. So I'm gonna do that um, with, with this. I mean, these are everywhere at the moment. And um, this was actually my granddad's and my mum passed this to me. Um, I've got another one like this um, that's on my shelves downstairs. Really beautiful and it just brings a really earthy sort of rustic feel. So I'm gonna anchor this one here. Um, so you can add fake foliage to here. You can add real stems. I'm personally a really big fan of gypsophilia. So I'm gonna pop some of those in now. Okay, so I've just put some gypsophilia in here. Um, I actually need a much bigger bunch. Not gonna lie, guys, this has been in my bedroom for a little while, but I just wanted to give you an idea of um, bringing some te texture and some color into the equation. Now, the console table is starting to look a little bit better now, um, but I'm gonna add one more thing to this. Um, and the problem where a lot of people go wrong and um, with styling console table shelves is they start with way too many items and think that literally every blank space needs to be filled. What you're actually gonna do is you're just gonna create chaos and everything's gonna fight for attention with each other. And so I'm just gonna bring in some really simple brass candlesticks. It's gonna match with the cup holders um, on, on the drawer here, but it's also just gonna bring a beautiful contrast against the black. And I've got these two. So um, when it comes to styling objects, Three as an odd number always works really well, but I personally love two. I just think it creates a really beautiful contrast, but always make sure you've got one that's a little bit higher and one that's a, bit, a little bit shorter because it will create that depth and visual interest. So I'm just gonna pop that here. And don't be afraid to keep moving around when you are building your console table um, because that's what all designers do and you're never gonna get it right first time. So I'm just gonna pop them there. Gonna grab my candles and pop these in. It's a little bit wonky, but you get the idea. Um, and I'm super happy with this, but I am gonna make a few movements. Um, so it visually just looks a little bit better. Books need to be moved. And I'm really pleased with how this is looking. I'm now gonna add some rattan baskets to the underneath, which I'm gonna show you. And um, then I'll show you the whole console table completed. And in the underneath of my console table, I'm just gonna put some beautiful rattan baskets. They had a nice rustic quality and they're perfect for storing bits and bobs and shoes or anything else that you want to have out of sight.
watching this really quick video today um, showing you how I style my console table and some little actionable tips that you can take away to style your own as well. Um, my top tip is always, always have more stuff on hand um, that you might potentially style with. It's just gonna make the editing process a little bit easier. And don't be afraid to play around. Um, no one gets it right first time. It's all about creating, curating, and editing um, everything once you've done it. Um, but my top tip, if you take away anything from today, always, always start with an anchor point. It's gonna make it a little bit more easier than if you're starting with small items. And for me, this was my lamp. So I hope you enjoyed watching it today. If you've got any other questions about how to style a console table, please leave them in the comments below. I'll also link um, to my blog post, which goes much more into detail about console tables and how to style them. And if you found it useful today, please give it a thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you soon.